Welcome to this tutorial. This video is about adding custom domain to our Dora website. So when you search the domain, it will link you to your website. There will be five steps in this video. We will add the domain, update the DNS, verify the domain, publish the site, and show how to unpublish and replace. Let's start with adding. On the top right of our project, click on the publish and click the edit on the custom domain. Now type in your custom domain. Next, let's update the DNS. I'm using Google Domain. You can use any other as well. Select the Manage button on the specific domain. We would go to the DNS on the left side navigation. DNS stands for Domain Name System. It turns domain names into IP addresses, which allows browsers to go to websites and other internet resources. If you have set this up before, then we need to clear all the DNS setting. But make sure you back up the record by note taking or screenshot. Now let's put in three records with one C name and two A records. So the record with a www hostname is for searching the website starting with www. The record with an at hostname is for searching your domain directly without the www. So in the first box, let's type in three W. And second, in the type, we choose C name. And in the value, we put in tls.dora.run. And then we add the A record. So there's something to be aware here. Some provider wants you not to put in the ad in the host name. For example, the Google domain I'm using right now. In this situation, you can click on the value to copy. And here we will leave the host name blank. So next we choose A in the type and copy in the value. Next, click add more. We go back to Dora and copy the next value and paste it in here. So it is important that you put the two A values under the same record, like how I'm doing right now. You can check with your provider to see if they want you to leave the ad host name empty. Here I will show you how to check in Google. So we included many other links to the providers in the Notion document. If your provider asks you to fill in the ad host name, use these two C name records instead of the one I provided just now. And if you're setting up a subdomain, then use this record. So now we will verify if the domain is pointing to Zora. Let's go back to Zora and under the domain, we click check status. Sometimes DNS changes can take a few minutes to propagate or even longer if it's a new domain. If you still have issues with your domain verification, reach out to your DNS provider to ensure the records are set correctly. Now let's publish the site. Turn on the switch and there will be an arrow. Let's click on the arrow and it will bring us to this published live website. Last, let's see how you can unpublish or replace the domain. If you turn the switch off, the website will be unpublished. Each Dora project supports adding one custom domain. So if you want to change to another custom domain, click the pen icon, then click the trash icon. Now, add new domain and repeat the process we have done in this video. Let's make a quick recap. We added the domain, updated the DNS, verified the domain, published the site, and showed how to unpublish and replace. That's all for this video. See you next time.